What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Symfony tutorial. Today, we're gonna talk about running promotions using automatic discounts. Here are the promotions we're gonna run. $5 Friday apps, where all our appetizers are gonna be $5 every Friday. Half price beer on Wednesday, where all of our domestic beers will be half priced on Wednesday. Buy one, get one free dessert, and that one is pretty self-explanatory and we're gonna run that every day. And last but not least, get 20% off when you buy two entrees. And we're gonna run that one also every day. So let's take a look at how we would program these promotions. Here I am in EMC and I'm gonna open my discounts at the enterprise level. If you have multiple restaurants in your enterprise and you would like to set up these promotions only at one of the restaurants, make sure you open it at the property level or even the revenue center if it is revenue center specific. And under the configuration tab, I'm going to click the discounts. And the way I have my discounts programmed is in the top portion, I have regular discounts, then I have some promotions, and then I have a happy hour. So I'm going to use the promo section to add all of my new promotions. So let's start with our $5 Friday apps promo. I'm going to select one of the promotions here. I don't really have a good template to use since this is just a 10% off discount, but I'm just going to use what I have and then I'm going to click the insert key. I'm going to add it at position 103. So that's going to be in the promo section and I'm going to check the box to use a template and I'm going to call it $5 Fridays apps and then click OK. And now I'm going to double click this rectangle at the end of the row to open it in detail. And I'm going to take a look at the number, which is OK. The name is OK. The activation type, I would like to have this one automatic because I don't want the servers or bartenders to push the button. I want this to happen automatically. For privilege group, I'm going to set it as zero since this will not require manager authorization. For tax class is going to be all taxes, just like all of our other discounts. For condiments discountability, I'm going to select parent items and all condiments. And for reporting group is going to be under promos, which is fine. In the option bits, I'm going to check option bit number three. This is an item discount since it's going to apply to every menu item. And I'm also going to leave number 25 checks. That's fine. I'm going to move to effectivity. So I'm going to let it be effective from this date in the past is totally fine. But what I do want to uncheck is all of the days here with the exception of Fridays. So I'm not going to put a time constraint on it. It's going to run all day, but I do want to only have Fridays and I'm not going to put an end date because this promotion does not end uh, very quickly. RVC type, I'm going to allow it in all the revenue centers. In itemizers, we're not going to use these because this is an automatic discount. Menu items, all of these are checked, which is perfect. I'm not going to put it under a screen lookup, so I'm going to take this to none since I don't want anybody pushing it. This is going to be an automatic discount. In the output, I do want it to print in the journal and on the guest check. And here we go. Now we have our automatic section. This is where we're going to do the bulk of our programming. So for the discount rule, I'm going to select item price substitution since that's what we're going to be changing. And we're going to say here for the trigger menu item group, let's take a look if we have appetizers as a trigger. So I do have all apps as a trigger. If you do not have this, you can click the little arrow here, which will go to your menu item groups and you can add all appetizers here as a new item. And you can select it by major group, family group, or by menu items. So this depends on how granular you want to be. I have mine set up as a family group and it's all related to the appetizer family group. So basically this is just a way to isolate particular menu items that you are interested in discounting. So I'm going to go back to my discount. So the trigger menu item group is going to be my appetizers. And here I'm going to select an amount substitution. So I'm not going to give them a percent off or an amount off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute it for $5. So basically what this will do is it will substitute any item in this menu item trigger group 
for five dollars and i'm gonna go ahead and save this and let's go to our workstation and see if that worked okay so here we are at our workstation i'm just gonna click a quick update to ensure that all of my changes come through and i'm gonna sign in and i'm gonna begin a fast transaction and i'm just gonna order an appetizer i'm gonna order my ahi tuna appetizer and as we can see, we have $15 for the appetizer and the automatic discount came on and took off $10 from it, which is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to do. All right. So here we are back in EMC and the next promo that we're going to program is going to be half price beer on Wednesday. So I'm going to go ahead and use the $5 apps one that I just created and click insert and I'm going to send it to position 104. So that's going to be just below this one. I'm going to check the box to use a template. I'm just going to use 50% off beer on Wednesday. So that should be a nice descriptive name. So I know that is. And let's take a look at the general tab. So the number, the name is fine. This is also going to be an automatic discount. The tax class is okay. Privilege group is good. Condiments. It goes to the promo reporting group. This is also going to be an item discount. And we have number 25 checked. Effectivity, I'm going to change it to Wednesdays. So that's only going to run on Wednesdays. Then I'm going to go to the RVC type and I'm going to allow it in the restaurant and bar and all the revenue centers that we have. Again, the itemizers are, we're not going to use because this is an automatic discount. The menu levels are all good. I'm not going to add this in the screen lookup because this is also going to be on automatic discount. It prints on the customer receipt, on the journal and on the guest check. And here we are back in the automatic section. And this is where we're going to change our settings. So this is also going to be an item price substitution. And I have to change my trigger menu item group to all beers. But I just have all apps, all desserts and all wine by the glass. So I'm going to click my little drill down functionality here to open menu item groups. I'm going to click the insert and I'm going to add a new one and I can use the all apps template. Um, it's not a lot of configuration. You know what? I'm just going to do it without a template just in case you don't have a template. I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. So I'm going to say all domestic beer since I don't want this to go for imported beers as well. So now I have my item here and all I have to do is click add and then I'm going to include a family group and then that particular family group I'm going to click this select item and once I click it I'm going to see a list of all of my family groups. All I have to do is just scroll down and find the domestic beer one. So that is group number 301. So what this is going to do is group all the domestic beer menu items in just one menu item group. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. So then we can use this group to program it in our discounts. So now if I come back here, I'm going to click the select again. And as you can see, my beers uh, discount group is not here yet. So in order to get that, all I have to do is click a quick save and then I'm going to click refresh because this module was already opened. When we open the other one, you don't see it right away. So now that we click refresh, you should be able to see our old domestic beers. I'm just going to click OK. And there's no minimum quantity in this case. So what we want to do is we want to give them 50% off. So for the award, I'm going to select percentage off and I'm going to enter 50. So if we take a look at the programming now, this is an automatic discount. So it's going to apply on its own. It substitutes the price for all domestic beers to 50% off whatever their original price is on Wednesdays. So let's go ahead and save and let's go to a workstation and test that out. So I'm going to click a quick update database just to ensure I have everything downloaded and I'm going to go ahead and sign in and begin a fast transaction. I'm going to go to my drink section, beers. I'm going to select my domestic beers and I'm going to order a bud. And as we can see, the price is 750, but the promotion kicked in here and now we have $3 and 75 cents. So if I order another one, this one of course is different because the beer is a little bit more expensive. 
let's try another one this one is kind of the same price so the discount works just as expected okay here we are back in emc and the next promotion that we're gonna program is a buy one get one free dessert so i'm gonna select a previous promotion and i'm gonna click insert I'm gonna send it to position 105 and i'm gonna use a template and i have to enter a name so i'm gonna name it pogo dessert and then click ok and i'm gonna open my new buy one get one free dessert and we're gonna take a look at the programming so we have the name the number it's all good activation type is automatic and we can take a look at the taxes it's okay privilege group condiment discountability everything else will be the same as the other ones and this will also be an item discount so all of this is good for effectivity i'm gonna make it available every day so this will run anytime gonna go ahead and save that really quick it's gonna be available in all revenue centers next i'm gonna jump over the itemizer since we're not gonna use those because this is an automatic discount menu levels all selected as needed I'm not going to have it on a screen lookup just like the other ones. The output is the same just as the other ones. And next I'm going to move to the automatic section. So this is where we're going to program our buy one get one free. And the type that I'm going to select is a quantity threshold. So I'm going to select a different one. And with quantity thresholds uh, you have two options here. You have a best deal for customer and a best deal for merchant. So what this will mean is when you have a buy one get one free dessert, best deal for customer will discount the most expensive one, best deal for merchant will discount the least expensive one. So I'm going to leave it as best deal for customer just to avoid any kind of uh, complaints from our customers. And I'm going to go to my trigger group and I have all desserts here which is perfect. I'm just going to select that. If you don't have it, just add it just like we did with the beers and this is going to be our trigger menu item group and for our award menu item group i'm also going to select desserts since they're getting a dessert they're receiving a dessert for minimum quantity i'm going to enter one so if they buy one dessert then i'm going to give them a hundred percent off one more so they buy one dessert they receive a hundred percent off another one and there's also a max count here if you want to enter a max count for the discount to apply only once or only twice but i'm not going to do that so i'm going to go ahead and save and let's go to the workstation and see if this worked so we're back at the workstation so as always i'm going to click a quick update and go ahead and sign in begin a fast transaction and i'm going to go to my discount section here and i'm going to order an apple pancake and next i'm going to order an apple pie so because I had the apple pancake here, the apple pie is free. And if I try that again, I'm going to order also a cannoli. So the bread pudding was paid, the cannoli was free, which the discount is working exactly as we wanted to. Okay, so now we're going to program the last promotion that we have in mind. And that's going to be the buy two entrees and receive 20% off the second one. So I'm going to add a new promo here at position 106 and use a template. And then I'm going to name this one 20% off second entree. And then I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to open it. And we're going to quickly take a look at the general settings. So we have the name, we have the number. This is going to be an automatic discount. Everything else will stay the same. This is also going to be an item discount for the effectivity. I'm going to let this one run every day. So this is all fine. Revenue center type and itemizers. Everything else will stay unchanged just like the other ones. All I have to do is go to the automatic section. So for the automatic section, this is also going to be a quantity threshold. And I'm also going to leave it as best deal for customer. So for the menu item trigger group, I'm going to select all entrees. So the trigger is going to be an entree. And if they order one, then they will be awarded another entree. And I'm going to say this is going to be 20% off and the award count is going to be one. So when you order one entree, the second one is 20% off. 
So let's go and save this discount and let's go to a workstation and see if this works. All right, so here we are back at the workstation. I'm just gonna click a quick update as always and go ahead and sign in. And then I'm gonna begin a fast transaction. So I'm gonna go to my entree section and I'm gonna order one Biff slider. And then if I order a second one, you can see the second Biff slider gets the automatic discount. If we do the same for a crab cake and then order another one, then the second one got the discount attached to it. So this discount is also working exactly as we expect. And keep in mind that these discounts do print on the guest check. So be very careful on how you name them. So they are nice and descriptive and the guests understand what they are. Let me know in the comments below which promotions you're going to run in order to bring in more customers. And also let me know if you have any requests for a future video. If you are interested in more Symfony tutorials, we have created an entire platform that will teach you everything you need to know in order to maintain your Oracle Micro Symfony POS system. You can also ask for help from our programming team. You can access everything by visiting simsupport.online. And as a special thank you, I am also including a coupon code for you. You can find all the details in the description below. Leave a like if you found this helpful and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.